Hello, my dear Neat Warriors. Welcome back to Diksha Vedanta English channel. This is us, your chemistry master teacher. Students, in this video, we discuss how to guess MCQ in Neat 2024. If you don't know the question, now, then you can, by using this guess strategy, you can easily check the or recheck the answers also. Students, before starting the video, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe the channel and also turn on the notification and students if you want i can teach entire organic chemistry in one shot okay and after that let's start with first important strategy it is biggest option strategy is nothing but students whenever you consider any questions more than 70 percent of times the largest or biggest option is correct whenever whenever you take any questions more than 70 percent more than 70 percent of time the biggest option think students they have some few questions only they for typing they need some extra time why they waste those time that's why almost more than 70 percent of times the biggest option is correct for example in this question look here what is the question which of the following statement is incorrect about Bohr atomic model the first option in often they give in first option an atom as a positively charged nucleus electrons revolve in the fixed circular orbits around the nucleus as long as an electron rotates in one of the energy levels is either lost energy nor absorbs it and also an atom consists of a sphere of positive charge with negatively charged particles embedded in obviously both atomic model which one is incorrect option d this one is also correct as positively charged nucleus he only give that electrons revolve as orbit yes my dear student this is also but option d is incorrect this is which model jj thompson atomic model statement right my dear students that's why look here compared to this three option this option is very long that's why the answer is d you can guess more than 70 percent let's move for the second strategy second one all or none of the above in the case of this very very easy students usually all of the above is correct instead of all of uh, what uh, none of the above most of the time none of the above is incorrect Okay, my dear students, this is also one important technique. Most of the time, what they give, some questions they give. For example, with metal, I give simple question, okay? I give simple uh, question. They give some electron withdrawing group metals and one electron donating group metal, okay? One uh, phenol group is there, okay? In, uh, in another case, we have some electron withdrawing group, COH. They ask some question, in which option or in which option, yes, A, B, C, D, they give option and they ask, in which option? Ah, right on A, B, C, D, all they give uh, A, B, C, D and other things they give electron it shows inductive effect. For example, electron withdrawing, either it shows negative inductive effect, positive induction, something they shows, right? On this case, most of the time, all of the EBO is correct and none of the EBO is incorrect. For example, look here, the question in red algae following on present. It is a bio question, right? Chlorophyll A and B and uh, clothing starch. What did one pico, ethene, and all of the above? Yes, all of the above is correct. Okay, my dear students, most of the time, all of the above is correct, and, and other none of the above is incorrect. Okay, my dear. Next one, avoid extremes. What is this avoid extremes? First important point, you may often get answer option with some higher and lower values. Avoid these extremes, okay? You may often get answer what options is there now. Some higher and lower value. We get that one. And also in majority cases, the extremes are incorrect answers. The extremes are the there now. Majority, higher values are incorrect. Uh, so it is better to steer away from them. Higher values, better to steer away. Very simple, okay? Avoid extremes, higher value, lower value. Always the mid value. Okay, my dear students. Next, very important strategy. Units and values. What is this? In these cases, after the answer with the unit mentioned in two or three options and the value mentioned twice or thrice. For example, what is this done? Units, values are same, but they different. They give different units. For example, look here, one question is there here. If a radius of second Bohr orbit of helium plus ion is 105.8 pm, what is the radius of third Bohr orbit of lithium 2 plus ion? They ask like this. For example, students, look here. We have three same SI units. That's right? But here, we have same values, but units are different. That's why, what is the answer? Let me know. Let me know in chat session, everybody. What is the answer? Let me know. For example, in the answer may be these two only. The answer is either E, either B, but the answer is PM. Right, my dear students? This one. 
This is an example. Next point, assertion and reason question in extremely this one is very important. Check whether the assertion and reason is true. First, you need to check that one. Second case, if both assertion and reasons are true, insert because between assertion and reason, the reason should give proper explanation to the asserted statement. In this case, first check both are correct. Then after that, because let's check that because term. It is very important. And then the reason should give proper explanation. Check the reason. Any relation is there, check the check it. And also sometimes reason is true, but what happens to it? Relation is not there. We cannot relate that assertion and reason. Okay, this is also one, one of the important technique. Okay, clear up. You can take most of the time, students, whenever the assertion and reasons both are true, definitely it is related only. Most of the time. Then this one, the answer within the question. You know one thing, we can easily, we can easily guess the answer in the questions only. Look here, read this one. While reading the question, truly, you can usually identify the correct answer. By using question only, you can easily identify. Then there may be hints within the question. For example, look here. The solid which have a negative temperature coefficient. Look here. The solid is there, not a solid. If they give solid, then it's not happened. Solid is nothing but only one metal or anything. Solids, they give solids. It's nothing but it is plural, right? Metals, insulator, semiconductor. That's why solids is there. Look here, the solids, not a solid. If they give solid, then you need to choose a, a, b, c, one. But they only give solids. Just look here, we can easily get four marks, which have a negative temperature coefficient of resistance R. That's why the answer is option D. By using this, we can guess it. Okay, students, any doubts? I repeat once, most of the time, 70%, most of the 70%, the biggest option is there now. That is correct. Second, avoid extremes. And also in unit and values, they give same units. In question only, we can guess. And assertion and reason, most of the time, if both are true, assertion is also true, reason is also true, then most of the time, A and R are both true. And also, explanation is also good. Connect it. And after that, unit division, okay, unit and dimension, I already told now. And avoid extremes. This one, this one is very important. And also, all of the above case, almost correct, but none of the above case, always it's wrong. Instead of choosing none of the above, if we have four options, none of the above is there, then don't choose it. Okay, this is about entire video. Student, if you have any doubt and if you really like this video, then let me know in comment section, give a valuable feedback, avoid it. And also students, this is very, very important. Share to your friend, subscribe the channel and like the channel. Don't worry, it is ninth and 10th. It's okay, subscribe it. We are also teach the 11th and 12th classes also. This strategy is very useful because in May 5, you have NEET exams. All the best, my dear NEET warriors. And also, let me know. Let me know what you expect. What you expect your uh, upcoming NEET exam. Okay, my dear students. Thank you so much for watching the video. Till then, and if you still have any doubt, then let me know in comment section. And please do not forget to like and share and subscribe the channel. Bye, my dear students.